Hello, followerites. This is Faleron. So, we're back with blocks. And as you might be able to hear from the sound quality, we are also back with my old mic. I was really, really unhappy with the quality that I, that I got out of the new one. And, uh... I think it might be a problem with the actual mic because this headset, the Sennheiser PC-13, is considered to be one of the best headsets out there by many sources. So, uh, oh, nice. So, I don't know how this, the fact that everyone seems to th seems to think that it's like one of the best headsets you can get for money and the fact that my uh, recording was really crap I don't know how that you know can be with each other how that happens so I'm using my Logitech mic again and I will try to get a refund for damn Enderman I'll try to get a refund for the other one and maybe try to get a new one and try that out or maybe just I don't know we'll see damn Enderman man the hell messing up my trees can't stand it so what's new on the block I have as you can see finished the uh, melon and pumpkin farm towers the MPF Towers. MPF Towers. Sounds good. But we're not going to look at those right away. Um, I wanted to... I, I wanted to harvest this stuff so you guys can see how much stuff I can get out of it. Now, you remember last time I've talked about my buddy Guitar Flat? And um, he has done some testing after having seen my my sugarcane farm and thinking oh there's not much in there yet I've just harvested it not too long ago after seeing my sugarcane farm and thinking wait a minute why is he using two pistons he only needs one to break it in the middle and I believed that's why I used two pistons I believed that that way I would get more of the drops because they they wouldn't fall like down they would fall actually into the water and he made a test he did a test on that and it turns out it actually does increase uh, the revenue that you get out of the or the uh, the results of the of the harvesting process by it increases them by 41 percent so you get 91 percent of the loot that you should be getting and uh, here we are towers there's a little roof to protect me from the rain that I get pretty frequently and um, as you can see I've removed the button the reason for that is I have put a redstone line down there and now since some of you sometimes want to see what I did I will show it to you right away so wait, how do I get back out that's the question down. So here's what I did. This is where the pressure plate is. Just lead into two more torches. Right now they're off and once that gets powered this is off but the next one's on and just goes all the way up and it fires the piston. The pistons. So there you are. That's about as much of a tutorial as I can give you on this. It's not extremely difficult. So now what you can do is just walk up to it and there's the loot. Fire the other side. And I have harvested those like a minute ago. So they are they're growing really quickly. So you can see 51 and 9. Um so today I want to work on another part of the farm because I'm I'm kind of thinking that the farming district is starting to look finished. The industrial farming district is kind of finished and um, 
I have said in one of the comments, I just like having farms for everything. So I'm going to continue on this is my next project, but I'll show you the other thing over here first. I have increased the uh, or increased I've I have added to the road system of our town. You can remember that one of these roads links up to the other end of the wall on the other side of town. And I've decided that it is necessary to build one here as well. So here's a road system all the way to the other end of the wall. So now if one had enough hunger bar thingies, which it's never going to be enough, you could run all the way from here over to the other side, except for the part where you have to climb a ladder. So yeah, that's basically it. Now for the blocks tower, someone has asked me, what the hell am I going to do with the blocks, to blocks tower? I am going to decorate the interior. I will do that very soon but I'm waiting for 1.3 because I need the uh, sandstone stairs that are finally given to us finally notch Jeb you guys have made us wait way too long so today this is what we're building wait I need to as you can see I have mushrooms in my inventory that makes it pretty obvious. I'm, I want to build a mushroom farm. Actually, I want to set down these as well. Put these in there. That, 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 that. Goes down there. Bum, bum. Ba -dum, ba -dum. All right, that does it for now. Oh, no, wait. Actually, I need to. Make some slabs. I've been using these slabs like snow. Oh man, I don't even need those slabs. Crap. Because it's a staircase. I use these on the staircases. Yeah, like that. Like this and like that and like this and up. Alright. I need some dirt. Oh, there's, it's in my inventory. Now, I have looked up. I've looked at the uh, the wiki to find out um, what the spawning requirements for, for huge mushrooms is. And it turns out that they need a space of 7 by 7 by 8 to make sure that you do not waste. I mean, they, they can spawn in smaller spaces, but if you, if you do that, you might waste some bone meal every now and then. Now, I do have a lot of bone meal, but I still don't like, it, uh, like to or don't believe in... Uh, Building something that requires more materials than necessary. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna gonna make this perfect. Now, if you guys don't remember this hole down here, I'll well, let's jump down there. I might have to tear that tear down some of this anyway. Um, this hole down here used to be right behind the farm, and I covered it over with dirt when I built the farm. You might remember that. If you don't, don't worry about it. Wasn't that interesting in the first place. So we are going to make it interesting now. We're going to turn this into our mushroom farm. Now, I used to know how to build the, uh, what was it, 1.8 maybe? The pre-1.8 mushroom farms. I was pretty good at those. But now that the spreading is messed up, it's just not the same anymore. There we go. Get ourselves some building material. 
And we're need we'll need the this and then it goes down a block and it stays. And it goes down another block and it stays and finally arrives here. Right, I should probably do this. So um What's been going on lately? As you've seen, I've put up some more Just Cause. Um, I'm glad some of you guys really like that. Um, it is still fun. I have just been a bit distracted by Sniper Elite, which is a lot of fun too, quite obviously. And... Um, I was, the other day, I was thinking, I was watching um, BWO and Good's playthrough of Saints Row the Third. Now, don't worry, don't worry, I'm not going to do a playthrough of that. Because there's, like, hundreds of people's out, people out there who are already doing it. And, uh... But I, I was thinking of maybe buying it for myself, just to have some fun with it. Because it looks like a, a extremely funny game. And also, I have talked, well, messaged to Chiaroko, who you guys might remember from my very unsuccessful Hunger Games thing. And um, she and I might be doing some kind of map together in the future. I don't know if it's just, if it's just her or Forksy as well. We'll see. I'm I've I not expecting too much yet. We have we've only like done the preliminary talks like hey how how about and she said yeah would be fun we could look at it but I'll t I'll talk to her oh oh I I just made the new one. I'll talk to her again once uh, she has her deadlines that she needs to fulfill. She she's done with those. And, um, yeah, the building server, the building server hasn't been progressing too much lately. We're still working on the first, like, big project, which should be out sometime this month. Well, no, it's, it's May, so sometimes in, sometime in June, I would say, it's probably a good, uh, a good guess. Sometime in June. So that is coming up. And what else? I have been spending a bit of time on mine creep. Didn't really. I, I did a lot of digging. As I'm doing right. He says it as he's doing digging on his single player world. Did a lot of digging for resources. Found, found a few even. Which is always nice. To actually find something when you're digging for it. And um. So I didn't I didn't get too much done there, so you guys haven't missed anything. Also Crater City, uh Vexi and CQ are on there as I'm recording this. I have uh just talked to Vexi via Skype while I was chatting with another friend of mine. Well I actually I was I was typing with Vexi and talking to my friend and uh, she texted me that they had found a triple baby spider spawner in the jungle so I'm gonna have to take a look at that too there might be another Crater City video sometime in the future for now I haven't really got anything to show to you in Crater City uh, so I'm just gonna let that lie for now Back here, what am I gonna do back here? I think I'm gonna do it like this. Take that away. That is really stupid, I'm decorating. But, you know. 
You know how I get. Ooh, there's a sneeze coming on. Excuse me, guys. Holy cow. All right, I'm back. Um, yeah, so Crater City. That should be fun as well. I'm kind of thinking of how to renew Crater City a bit. I've been talking to Vexy the other day, and um, we'll see how it turns out. I mean, except for Crater City, fun. So I will definitely be sticking to that. As you can see, I can still not... Oh, I should have got my fortune pick with me. Oh, well. I have tons of coal. I mean, I have a full double chest of coal. And about half of another one. So, yeah, I don't need coal. But I still collect it anyway. All the time. Whenever I find it. There. Um, I want to build an actual roof for this. I'm not just going to leave it like that. But for now, this entrance needs to be purdied up. For one, I want to put this there and this there. Oh yeah, I've, uh, I've also started and just a bit completed the work on... Um, on my ender mob farming thingy that I built after the the specs that DocM put out there. It wasn't his invention, he just made a tutorial for it. And uh, that is working pretty nicely. I haven't used it much yet because the thing is right now it is quite dangerous because there's only like a one wide edge to it and that edge is uh, sometimes when the, the Enderman manage to push you for some reason you get very close to it so uh, I am careful what I do there oh no that was crap there we go So, for those of you who um, are new to the channel, and there have been some new additions lately, I know that. For those of you who are new to the channel, here's a couple things that I would like to answer again. So, for everyone who does not read the channel notes, if you're wondering where I'm from, I am from Switzerland, yes. Also, um, what do I do? I run a library. So I'm a librarian, which means for some reason that I don't really have a lot of time to play, but I try to get in as much as I can. Um, what am I going to do back here? I don't know yet. Might make this a workspace of some kind, but I'll just finish this off so some questions if you're wondering about my age I am 34 it says so on the channel page it's not a lie I have yes I have been alive when the Soviet Union still existed I was born just shortly after Elvis died I think so Yes, I am old. <laughs> so sometimes my references might be a bit obscure to you. If that's the case, just look it up on Wikipedia. And uh, just remember, I am old. Of course, there's 
people that are older than me in the whole YouTube thing, and they're also not only older, but more successful, but that's okay, because um, I have always said I am in this for the fun, not the money. Now, having said that, there is now a donation <laughs> link on my channel uh, page, if you guys have seen that, and I really urge you, I'm not looking for donations so if you want to give something feel free but you don't have to of course that's why it's called a donation um, I will however because I work or I work I am um, I am part of a charitable foundation where I come from and we kinda try to support all kinds of charities so I am a big fan of Kurt J. Mack because he's doing the whole Far Lancer bust, um, the whole Far Lancer bust charity drive with the uh, with the child's play donations, and therefore, if you decide to donate to me, just be aware that seventy five percent of what you give to me is going to be forwarded to Kurche Max um, Child's Play donations. So 75% of what you give to me will go there because this this might sound really strange. Um, I don't need the money. I can live. Um, I mean, I I have a good salary where I work at. So. Uh, I don't need you guys to pay for my rent or anything. I, If you want to give something to me, then I want to let you know that I will donate it for a good cause. Um, I really believe that Kurt is doing a great thing there. And I will move 75% of, of it over there. So you might think, wait a minute, 75% going to Kurt? What are you doing with the rest of the 25%? I don't I really don't expect there to be many donations and I'm okay with that. If there is a donation, I will use whatever money is left, whatever money I didn't, the 25%, I will use that and uh you know, put it into the improvement of the channel of the channel. So I will sponsor some contests from it. Why why did that come over here? Oh yeah. I will sponsor some contests from it, you know, prices for contests. I will, um, let's grab some iron as well. I will buy a new new headset <laughs> or uh, get a refund. No, I, we'll see. You know, I, I'll do these kind of things with them. I'm not gonna, I don't know, spend it on hookers and strippers. So don't worry about it. Um, yeah, this is basically it. If you think the donation thing is a bad idea, that's okay, too. You don't, no one is forced to donate. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you do donate, it will go mainly to Kurt. Well, not to Kurt, to his charity, as I said. And, uh,. Yeah, it took me a while to set that up, by the way. Because I've never used PayPal much before this. And I would like to thank Blockbender and Vexy for helping me out with uh, test donations. Which I, of course, refunded. What kind of question is that? Of course I refunded, though. Yep, this is going to look better. Here we go. Subterranean farm. Now, I'm going to dig out this whole thing here, and then I'll be back. So, we're back, and uh, I've decided to make this like my little office back here. I'll, I'll have to work on that. And as you can see, this needs to go, because it needs to be 8 high, and that's that's high. That's really high. 
So here we go. Run. Nice. Oh, destroyed some of my stairs. That's okay though. I don't mind. Okay, I will be doing some more explodey thingy. So, that's about the size of it. Now, I've blown a hole in my roof. Which I kind of have to fix. But, that's about it. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, is... I'm going to clean this out. And, uh... Once I'm done with that... Well, I'm, I'm going to finish the episode here. I'm going to clean the whole thing out. And, uh, oh, did I blow a hole into my fence? Are these sheep ex escaping? That would be really bad. Nope, I was lucky. So, where was I? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna do some cleanup. And once I'm done with that, I will start turning this into an actual mushroom farm. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, have a good time. Bye-bye. <laughs>